Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, I'm making phone cases with real flowers and resin. I have some clear, flexible phone cases, and the first thing I'm doing is marking which phone case is for which phone by adding some tape on the inside and writing down with a marker. I find that while making resin phone cases, these specific type of phone cases work best and the resin doesn't get unstuck. I'm going to be using DCS Resin by Deepon. It's a flexible doming resin. And if you're making phone cases, you wanna be sure that you're using a flexible resin and not a hard resin. You can use my discount code, SUMMERGIRL, to save 10% on Deepon's website. I'll have the link in my description as well as other product links that can be found on Amazon. I'm mixing a very small amount of resin because the first step that I'm going to be doing is basically just sticking the flowers onto the phone case and once that hardens a little bit, I'll do another layer of resin over. DCS resin goes by weight, so I'm using a small kitchen scale to measure out my part A and part B resin. And once I have both parts into my cup, I mix them together for around three minutes. Once I'm done mixing, I set my cup of resin aside to allow the air bubbles to rise to the top. And in the meantime, I'm making sure that my phone cases are clean by using a paper towel and some alcohol. Then I take out my flowers and I have them in this small organizer which I love and it's very convenient. I'll have a link to that as well in my description, so be sure to check that out. These are mainly all flowers that I've purchased all pre-dried and pressed, but you can dry and press your own flowers which I also love doing and I have a few videos on my channel that show that as well. Now I take my resin and with a wooden stick, I'm carefully placing a small amount onto the phone case. And I spread it along the area where I want to place my flowers. I'm carefully using a torch gun as well. You'll want to move it very quickly so that you don't burn your resin or your phone case. Then using tweezers, I start to place the flowers onto the resin. I decided to only put resin onto that small area on the phone case where I wanted to put the flowers to make the phone case more 3D, but of course if you prefer, you can coat the whole phone case in resin. I decided not to add any tape around the edges of the phone cases, which I did in my last video where I did beach themed phone cases, just to see if it's completely necessary or not. I do the same process with all four phone cases, slightly varying in the color combination that I use for the flowers. I come back a few hours later after the resin is tacky to mix up some more of the DCS resin to do another coat. After it's mixed, I start to pour on top of the flowers. And I'm using a silicone makeup brush to carefully spread the resin and make sure that it's covered the whole area of the flowers.
Then I poured resin onto the remaining foam cases because if the resin stays in the cup, it will heat up faster than it would if it's poured onto the foam cases. And I was doing really good about being careful, but I poured a little too much resin onto the last two foam cases, so it started to pour off to the side. I continued to spread the resin and make sure that all of the flowers are covered, and I wiped off the sides with a paper towel. And I wanted to see how the situation would be the next day. When I came back the next day, I immediately grabbed the phone case that had the most resin pour off the side. I do have my phone cases on baking paper, which I highly recommend, and resin does not stick very easily to baking paper, so it's very easy to clean. Any resin that was on the side or even on the inside of the phone case easily peeled off. These two phone cases in the middle don't have any resin that poured off onto the side, so they are good to go. And this last phone case also had a little bit of resin onto the side, which I easily just peel off. And the back side of the phone cases remain very adhesive, so you don't have to worry about that part peeling off. DCS resin needs about two weeks to fully cure and then the bond will be very strong. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.